Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode four now, I think. Um, and today I just want to go over sort of what I've sold from my whole from council pickup on eBay and Depop and what has been selling in the past for me. Um, and so that'll be sort of this video. But before we jump into that, I just wanted to say a huge happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. You're the best. Um, and yeah, keep doing what you're doing. But without further ado, let's get to it. So if you guys saw my last video, you'll know I picked up a ton of stuff from Council Pickup and um, I've just been gradually listing it as I've had time. Um, but I've actually, I've been really impressed. A lot of stuff has sold. So the PlayStation Portable that I showed you sold. I already showed you the um, blood pressure thing, which it had already sold. Um, the video camera sold. Um, then a pair of shoes sold. And also um, the Tommy Hilfiger shirt sold, but that wasn't on eBay. All that other stuff was on eBay. The Tommy Hilfiger shirt was actually on Depop. I've just started selling on Depop. Literally, I, like I listed that was one of the first things I listed, and it sold later in the day. So I was really pleased with that. Um, and I started. I've sort of moved to Depop a little bit, sort of more for my vintage stuff, because I, I have quite a bit of vintage clothing that like has cool designs and stuff like that. It's not a well-known brand, but it just has kind of cool designs. And it's really hard to find keywords that will pop up on eBay for that. Like, unless you're a huge store that sells a lot of that stuff, it's quite hard to like find the right wording of your listing that'll actually pop up when people search it. Like vintage is a good start, but people a lot of times search for brands like vintage Adidas, vintage Nike, vintage Levi's, like stuff like that. And if it's just some brand like, I don't know, Gildan or Hanes or something like that, nothing nothing special. But it has a cool design. It is kind of hard to show that in the listing. Whereas Depop is kind of like, I don't know, I'm sure you've probably heard of it, but it's basically a cross between Instagram and eBay. So like it's, you get a feed and you scroll through it and you can like stuff, but you can also buy it. Like it has a price on it and all that. Um, so it's, it's a very visual, so the photos are obviously very important, but like people are scrolling through and they're more about the aesthetic than the actual brand a lot of the time. So like they'll see a really cool no-name shirt, but it like has a really sick pattern on it. They'll be like, oh, I want to get that. So yeah, I've actually I've sold a couple things on Depop um, for more than I was had them listed for on eBay. So um, I think that's what I'm going to start doing is listing sort of my more vintage stuff, um, more sort of fashion-related stuff on Depop and then keep the um, eBay to sort of more brand name stuff, um, sort of more sports jerseys because I found that's what really sells well and then also um, just sort of the miscellaneous, like the video game stuff, the camera stuff, all that kind of stuff because eBay is a really great platform for being really diverse. Like you can sell anything on eBay. I mean that's one thing that I've learned that if you find something there's someone out there that will probably buy it. Like eBay you can list literally anything and it, could well sell. Um, so yeah, so that's one of the really great things about eBay and especially when you're picking through um, council pickup with the thought of reselling on eBay um, is you can pick up anything and you can sell it because it's such a diverse platform. It's like hundreds of millions of people on it. Um, and yeah, like I don't know, for example, like the blood pressure thing. Never seen one of those in my life, probably will never see one again, um, but it's just one of those cool finds that you pick up and the beauty of eBay is that I was able to sell it and sell it quickly. Um, whereas, you know, if I had my own website or if I was trying to sell on other platforms, you wouldn't be able to sell that. It wouldn't sell on Depop and if you had a website, you, you kind of have to have a niche, like a specialty that people go to your website specifically for vintage clothes or sports jerseys or... Um, video game equipment, like stuff like that. Um, so that's going to get lost in the, in the traffic um, if you have like a random blood pressure thing in the midst of, I don't know, t-shirts. So that is definitely one of the beauties of eBay. Um, yeah, and for what, for what eBay is, it's a really, a really powerful tool. So because it is Mother's Day, um, I just wanted to show you actually what the gift that I'm giving my mom. Um, one of the gifts, it's you can see here it's a um, iPhone charging um, station. I actually made this myself. You can probably tell because it's the quality. Um, it's definitely homemade, but um, I'm really pleased with it. It was um, actually I'll pop I'll pop up a, a closer video, but essentially it was um, 
the base was an off cut from um, a building site that I was working on, which it was um, a piece of some really nice stairs, um, really solid piece of hardwood, um, and just really beautiful. Like, it was going in the trash, and I grabbed it and brought it home with the idea that I was going to do something with it. I didn't know what. It wasn't that big. It kind of had a bit of a rough edge, and but I just I felt really bad about throwing it out, and like it was such a beautiful piece of wood that I was like, not nah, this deserves a life. Um, so I took it home. I beveled off the um, the front bit that was a bit ragged with a circular saw, and sanded it down a little bit, and then I had the idea that gee, I could make a really cool like icon charging stand um, for my mom for Mother's Day or for her birthday, I wasn't sure when I get it done, but I got it done by Mother's Day, so, um, yeah, and then for the, for the support, I used a piece of timber that I found at the dump, um, and beveled it to make it level, and, um, yeah, so then I, I drilled that in, and then I actually, I drilled holes down and in the back, to be able to fit the cord up through. Um, so that was a bit of a process. I tried to get a heavier GD cord, not just the, the Apple cords, because I find they fray really easily. I bought a, um, like a woven cord, but it turned out to be too thick to get through the hole. I couldn't find a drill bit. Well, I, I could have found a drill bit that was thick enough, but it would have taken out half the thing. And that was the next challenge, was actually fill, then filling the hole once I got the um, cord up through. So I actually, I poured glue in the holes to kind of let it set down there because that's the glue is very runny so it can get down into those crevices that you can't really get to and then I just used um, some multi filler to basically create a little mound that basically encased the cord um, so that took quite a while sort of a bit of trial and error to get that right and get the angle right so the phone actually sits and leans up against the back it doesn't pop up like that and where the cord and it actually fits down in so it actually charges um and then the last thing i did was i sort of stained the whole thing to get the um the white of the of the filler um back to a woody color um and then finally i wanted to do something on the front like i wanted to do a design of some sort um and i sort of i pondered this for a long time i was initially going to do a quote but that was a lot of writing. I thought that would be pretty busy. So I ended up just settling for my mom's initials. Um, I think that's something simple. I think she'll like it. And I just used a, um, like a paint pen, like an acrylic paint pen. Um, just white, simple. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out actually. Um, yeah, like it de like like I said, it's definitely homemade. Um, and But for a first attempt, I was pretty pleased. And I was really happy that I got to salvage that bit of wood because it, it, it's a really beautiful bit of wood. I'm not actually quite sure um, what sort of wood it is, but it's just a really dark and beautiful hardwood that I thought deserved a second a second chance at life. So, um, no, I'm very pleased with how it came out and I'm excited to give it to mom today. Okay, so the final bit of the video, a bit of a bonus. Um, I was driving back from a doctor's appointment yesterday and um, I stumbled across, across council pickup in a couple suburbs over from me. Um, it was sort of getting dark, so I didn't have that much time. I had to get home to do some stuff, so I didn't have a ton of time to drive all around, but I kind of wended through the back ways of the suburb to get home to see what I could find. I didn't find much, um, not nearly as good as um, the other picks that I've had in my suburb. I think just because I don't know the back streets there as well, and it was kind of peak hour, so like, there's a ton of cars and a ton of people. So it's pretty hard to like drive and be looking at the same time while keeping the car on the road and then pulling over all of a sudden when you got five cars on your tail. Um, so I didn't wasn't able to do too much. Like it's definitely it's definitely really good to have um, someone driving and you spotting when I'm picking. Like it's I know it's, it's not always possible to find someone else to do that. But it's really handy because they can just keep their eyes on the road and drive and you can be scouting for a pickup and you like stop, stop, stop and they'll be able to pull over. Um, yeah, instead of just basically dividing the work as opposed to your brain doing all that work, trying to drive, trying to look, trying to assess whether you actually want to stop, trying to keep an eye on cars behind you, like all that kind of stuff. So, which, I mean, it can, could actually be quite dangerous if you didn't, if you weren't safe about it. So, um, 
But anyway, so I found a couple of things for my shop, just um, some glue, some multi-filler, stuff like that. You know, and it's packaging, so it's always useful. But the, the standout item that I found was these two um, ashtrays. Or I, get, I don't know if they were originally ashtrays, but they've obviously been used as ashtrays. They're full of um, cigarette smoke or cigarette um, ash, uh, but I cleaned them up. They still have a bit of kind of greening on there, so I'm not quite sure. I think they might be pewter, possibly. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to clean these up with some sort of cleaner. I'm not quite sure. I have to do a bit of research on that, but if you can see, I'll pop up a um, closer look at them. But there's this beautiful flower pattern inside, um, and it's sort of it's a relief, and like the outside is really ornate. So really beautiful pieces. Um, and yes, they do have a little bit of stuff going on at the bottom that's less than ideal, but I reckon they'd be perfect. Um, I actually have a lot of ashtrays because my when we cleared out um, my grandmother's house and the beach house, um, there were a ton of ashtrays that we found, so I kept all of them. So I have a ton of ashtrays, like old glass ashtrays that are really nice. Um, yeah, I quite like ashtrays. Um, I don't know why, like I don't smoke or anything, but um, they're just really cool. They're quite like they're quite artistic, and like those are beautiful pieces of art. And then there's um, yeah, I have quite a few other ashtrays that are also like really they're statement pieces in and of themselves. Like I use them just to put keys in because I think they're so cool. Um, and yeah, so I was actually, I was pretty pleased with that. Um, they're definitely older, they're definitely sort of vintage. Uh, and I think they could sell quite well, possibly maybe at a pop-up, if I'd ever do a pop-up or um, an antique stall at like a flea market or something. I'm not sure how well they'd sell online just because they're more of something you have to like actually witness in person. But I was pretty pleased with them. Um, yeah, so hopefully I'll be able to clean them up. I might give you an update a bit later, depending on what I decide to do with them. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a video coming out later in the week uh, with all the picks from Council Pickup that is coming up soon. And yeah, I guess see you then. Happy Mother's Day. Um, thanks for watching. I'm out.